Welcome back to the Fat Man's Kitchen. Remember, like and subscribe. Today, we are going to be doing um, the Fat Man's Homemade Chicken Noodle Soup on the tripod over the fire. And then later on, it's gonna take it a while to uh, cook. And then later on this evening, I am gonna use my uh, charcoal chimney and I'm actually going to try to make apple crisp right this time. So to get started, first thing we need to do is get our broth in. Oh boy. Can't even find a spot to sit. All right. Our broth. You're not supposed to dump it on the fire when you go to dump it in your Dutch oven, just saying. It's going to take about, yeah, all four of these chicken broths. Then again, it may only take three. Boy, being around that fire sure does make you hot. The Dutch oven was sitting on the fire for about a good 15 minutes before I started adding everything in due to the fact you always want to make sure your cast iron is preheated before you do any cooking whatsoever otherwise it takes longer to make Boy, little boxes, they sure do have a lot of chicken broth in them. Now, the third box we will uh, leave alone. Uh, fourth box, sorry. The fourth box of chicken broth we will leave alone, and we will add that in later. Uh, for right now, what we're going to do is we're going to add the onion in the bell pepper, and the mushrooms, and the seasoning to uh, get it going, and then probably maybe half hour, 45 minutes before dinner is ready to be served, that's when I'll put in the noodles.
our mushrooms. We'll give that a little stir. And now to add some accent. Basil and oregano. And when we get the chicken in, that's when I'll put the chicken seasoning and the garlic in. Start off with some accent. Spices, oregano and basil, basil to me can be a universal spice for just about anything. I can keep the smoke out of my eyes. Cook. Let all those flavors intertwine. That way, when I add in the noodles, it, everything tastes right. All right, now I'm going to play with the new toy of mine, my outdoor uh, stove top. We are going to. It doesn't matter if you. You could fry the chicken and then dice it up, if you, cut it up if you wanted to put it in. Or you could just boil it, cut it up, and put it in. Either way, it don't matter. But today we are going to boil. So. Most people would probably say, well, why are you going through that extra work to boil it when you could do it right on the fire? Well, that takes the fun out of cooking outside. Cooking outside is way different than cooking inside. It, there's a lot of preparation to it. And if you take your time and do it right, it's enjoyable and everybody loves it. Get it going. The old trusty ladder. Maybe. There we go. And 
right now, just because we'll add in the chicken season. That's it for now. So I'll get back with you in a little bit and we'll show you what else we're doing. I promise you my hands are clean. I actually just came out from washing them. Now no, this chicken is not thoroughly done, but it's good enough to where we can cut it up, put it in the uh, Dutch oven, and it will cook the rest of the way because that's gonna be there a while. So, now let's see here to get this cut up. And now we have our chicken cut up in chunky bite size. So let's take a look and see what this looks like in here. Oh, look at that. That's turning out good. Now. Make sure all the chicken gets in. Right now, a little bit more chicken seasoning. Uh. And garlic. Give it a little stir. See, all that's just chicken broth, no water in it. Darn it. Might have put out the fire, but that's all right, because it's still hot. And now we're gonna let that set for about a good three, four hours max, probably three. And then when we come back, it'll be the uh, putting in the noodles and starting the apple crisp. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Oh, that looks good.
regular egg noodles. Now everybody's probably thinking, well, all the noodles ain't going down. Well, that's all right. That's what the last box of broth is for. If I can get it. There we go. Not the whole bag, but just a little. dessert. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to prepare the apple crisp. The uh, charcoal is still burning, still going, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, prepare the apple crisp. filling. Now, what I've learned with cooking with this is seven cools on the bottom, 14 on the lid gives you 350 degrees. And I know I didn't give this Dutch oven a chance to warm up, but that's all right. Because it could take its time baking, so it gets done right. Make sure you get that spread all over. Now, 
maple and brown sugar oats. Now, I was told three, but I'm gonna press it and I'm gonna put four on it. We'll just leave it at three. Never mind. <clears throat> now, for the sticks of butter to go on top, and this will help crisp it up. All the butter cooperates. That's all she wrote for the apple crisp. Now all we gotta do is wait for the rest of the coals to burn down. And then after the rest of the coals burn down, we can uh, put them on. And it will probably take about 40, 45 minutes, about as long as the coals will last to keep heat to uh, get it done. So. We'll be back shortly. Well, and now for dessert, the apple crisp. And it seemed that it turned out just fine. But there's dinner and dessert. An easy uh, dinner that you can do. All you got to do is after you eat lunch, get your tripod out, get your chicken done, get everything prepped. Uh, don't put the noodles in until about a half hour, but of course, until about a half hour before, but easy meal and dessert. And I finally had done the apple crisp right, so I'm happy. So, I am gonna go ahead and dish this up and I'll talk to y'all at my next video. I'm out of here. <laughs>